Welcome to the Aronet program. This tutorial video is intended to help you set up the Seamill version T instrument at your site. You'll need a sunny day to proceed. The tripod I'm setting up here may be different from the mount at your site. As long as you have a way to bolt down the robot and a clear view of the sky, you're good to go. The setup process is much easier if you can get the mounting plate level before you put the robot on it. To install the collimator on the sensor head, line up the notch on the collimator with the four quadrant detector window. This is the small black circle on the face of the sensor head. Align this thumb screw and tighten until it's finger tight. Use a pair of pliers to tighten the thumb screw down another quarter turn, just enough so it does not vibrate loose. The kit you'll receive will include the following. The control box, the sensor head, sensor head cable, a connector panel, a location sensor, a wet sensor, a GSM antenna, a battery cable, a PC serial data cable, and a battery. Place the robot on the tripod in any orientation. Then connect the sensor head cable. To do this, align the notches and rotate the barrel connector until it clicks. Press the connector panel onto the front of the control box until it clicks. Connect the sensor head cable to the connector panel and tighten the two screws. The wires from the robot are labeled AZ and ZN for azimuth and zenith. Connect these cables to the connector panel as labeled. The two SMA connectors on the left side of the control box are labeled G and L. L is for location, G is for GSM. Connect the location antenna to the connector labeled L. If your instrument is set up for GSM, connect the GSM antenna to G. If you will be using a PC to submit data, connect the serial data cable to the port labeled DCP. This instrument has a SIM card so I'll leave the DCP cable in the bag. Now the wet sensor has a shiny side. This needs to face up to detect rain. Connect the wet sensor to the port labeled HH. Connect the external battery. Last, we'll connect the solar panel. The connector for the solar panel is a little delicate and it only fits one way. Please be careful when plugging it into the connector panel. Now that the instrument is powered on, we'll update the time and location. Go to the Seamill menu, then scroll down to GPS info. Press enter, then wait three to five minutes while the GPS antenna gets a lock. Once the time and location have successfully updated, state will change from wait GPS to off. We'll now clamp the sensor head onto the robot. First, go to the Scenario menu and select Park. Once the robot has reached the park position, we can strap the sensor head to the robot claw. These photos show how the sensor head should align with the claw. The front plate of the sensor head must be flush with the claw, and the flat of the barrel connector must be parallel to the flat of the claw. The robot will not be able to align to the sun properly if this isn't right. Next, there is a plastic cable clamp, which holds the sensor head cable in place. We'll need to attach this clamp, then pass the cable through it, making a loop that leaves enough slack for the sensor head to move freely. The cable loop should come down about 10 inches or 25 centimeters. Now that the sensor head is attached, we're going to do a rough alignment. I go to the Scenarios menu and select Park. then go sun. Now see the robot is pointing over there but the sun is that way. We'll rotate the robot base so that the instrument is now approximately pointing toward the sun. Now I'll install the three bolts but do not tighten them yet. Now we'll align the robot more precisely to the sun. This diagram shows the sunspot near the target on the collimator base. Do another park and go sun. Then rotate the robot base so that the sunspot lines up with the target. 
you may need to repeat this step after leveling the robot to get the sunspot as close as you can. There are two leveling screws on the robot base. Use the bubble level and the two screws to level the robot. Once the robot is level, check the sunspot alignment again. and then tighten the three bolts. A quick note about the sensor head and robot cables. The cables need to be free to move. Cable ties and wraps can prevent the robot from going through its full range of motion. The only step left is to set the instrument in auto mode. Go to the settings menu, change auto to on, press return, and then select yes when asked to confirm your change. Occasionally, you'll need to clean webs out of the collimator tubes. Spiders love to nest inside the collimator. Please follow these steps to clean out any obstructions. Loosen the collimator thumb screw, remove the collimator, then use a soft bottle brush to remove any debris. Do not clean or touch the glass lenses on the front of the sensor head. Be sure to shake out any debris or bristles that may have come off the brush while cleaning. Confirm that you've cleaned it all out by looking through the collimator tube. Reinstall the collimator and tighten with the pliers until just snug.